How's it going everyone, Javita here with another community spotlight, this time for Ring Guard, or at least I think it's called Ring Guard. We're about to find out, but this was private message to me on Discord, I think around Christmas time. And uh, yeah, I have a bad habit of I'll read the message and then it's like, okay, cool, I'm gonna follow up on that. And then since the notification goes away, uh, I kind of get distracted and forget about it for a while. But this is the, at least the for now, the current capital of Cardass, so, uh, if you didn't quite catch, we're in the Ultima Guild HQ city, and this is the Aquarius Network, so right over here leads to all of the higher level worlds, and Cardass is a tier 6 planet, so we're going to go to all the tier 6 planets through here, and yeah, now we're seeing signs for Cardass. And over here, and originally I have kind of checked out this place uh, beforehand, and I had to just like find the, there it is, the capital icon over there and just ran over there because I didn't know the portal connections. However, there is a portal, it should be this one right here. Uh, it would really be helpful if there's some kind of signs or labels or anything really. But yeah, this is, there we go, Ring Guard, got it right. Uh, apparently, or at least the Viceroy of this is uh, D-Flame, as you saw there. I forget what his Discord name is, I should probably look at that, but uh, before we go too much further, I just wanted to show off this cool portal frame. It's like, it's so fitting with this build. It's kind of got like this dark, uh, brooding castle theme, like uh, does an evil lord live here or something? But yeah, this portal frame goes perfectly with it because at least to me kind of reminds me it's like either a helmet or maybe some skull or something. I guess it could be like a you know, big huge wild stocks skull or, or you know who knows but it looks cool at any rate and uh, i don't know if it's actually meant to be skull like or that's just kind of what ended up happening but just look at all of this beautiful chisel work got a whole bunch of dark glass and i think that's iron yeah it's machined iron that is machined titanium got a few things for sale here nice uh chiseled floor it's kind of interesting like if you run across this it kind of like bumps you around and of course it's not going to do it for me while i'm recording but there we go kind of did it a little bit but at these uh i really need to craft some of these gleam signs because i keep seeing all these really cool kind of window type things that people are doing and just very nice i mean got the, the flowers up there like a little uh potted or a, a planter area Got some nice stylish doors there. Another beautiful window looking out into the harsh <laughs> Cardass uh, atmosphere. But uh, got a nice scene of mountains over there. And ooh, there we go. So yeah, there is one epic sword. It's kind of like, at least from this angle, it almost looks like the mountain is like grabbing the sword almost like that's a fist <laughs> out there grasping the sword but it's kind of just like shoved through i think that was a natural part of the mountain i'm not 100 percent sure i guess but we'll take a closer look at that later and this appears to be a built by like one maybe two people which lends uh each one of these builds are the the themes flow together so the other one is really nice as well but it, instead of having this kind of decorative stone here has a lot of uh of all this black rock and gold and it's looks really sharp so got a nice machine room over here power coils inlaid into the floor of one block sticking up very nice got some furnaces over here and uh some really nice kind of decorative uh chisel work here on the wall it's a very nice touch i wonder what color that is uh that is igneous decorative but let's figure out because like i don't know if it's just the atmospheric lighting or let's see here okay it's it's actually night orange so that's kind of what i was wondering is it actually naturally red or is it the atmosphere because this is all black rock and, and you know you can see the atmosphere kind of lends it a little bit of an orangey or maybe it's all this gleam yeah we have some red ish looking lanterns there but you know it's like it's got a lot of black, but if you take the time and look around, there's nice detail chiseled into it. Like the, the black floor is igneous brick, and then we have the sedimentary brick, 
and some other places there's some metamorphic bricks I, don't, I imagine they use like a changing chisel to uh, they made like one brick and then change the material accordingly yeah there we go there's some so it's like it's it's a lot of the kind of the same colors but they still vary up the materials a little bit to, to give it some extra character so very nice so <laughs> we have like this double uh, lattice stuff up here so uh, that's offset from each other so that's pretty cool to look at probably took quite a bit of time to make that too or, or chisel all of it <laughs> got some decorative doors right there have to be careful about the bug zappers though you could actually get in there and electrocute yourself but <laughs> in the lo remote location uh, I guess they don't have too many problems with that because <laughs> nice little snowman arrangement and Christmas tree presents very nice and that is locked it does look like it goes somewhere but uh, fortunately we don't get to see that some extra little nice decorative detail around these storage shelves very nice. And it looks like we got a beacon room. Nice little decoration there. And what do we got? Ooh, we got a gallery. Okay. We got like display cases. Very nice. All sorts of... Let's see. I wonder if these are local to the planet or they're just specimens that they felt like displaying. But it has a... Pretty nice effect all the same, no matter where it comes from. Ah, nice. Got little rock ring in there. It's one of my favorites as far as the, the rock ones go. Got some corruption in that doorway. Very nice. Here. Huh, that's interesting. Just like a random little <laughs> triangle of corruption right there. Some dark glass in the ceiling. And okay, that's where we came in from the portals. And so yeah, now we have this really nice bridge. Again, it's got a, a nice variety of materials, if not colors, <laughs> but uh, leads over to, let's see here. So this is, that's made by AK something or another. And I think it changes. Yeah, and this is blacksmith over here. Ah, cool. We got some decorative, I believe that's sedimentary, yeah inlaid in there nice little detail of these little spike things like <laughs> I mean there's no guardrail so you could accidentally slip and fall but if something flying comes after you they're likely to impale themselves trying to get to you I suppose I got a little glass enclosed area right here some more nice that's probably some more of that night orange mixed in with the black or I guess it could be the lighting, but I'm pretty... Yeah, because right there. It's like that almost looks like wood. That's kind of a really cool effect. <laughs> Just the, the color that it is. And looks like we got a forge room right there. Oh, I guess I'm... Nice. Okay, so it's a two block wide doorway chiseled to half blocks. So you're actually walking in between two blocks going through here. Interesting. <laughs> Got a little bit of storage built in right there. Some machines. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's a refinery, compactor. Got some furnaces. Oh, tiny little beacon room. And this actually goes all the way down to the base. Oh, no, not this one. Somewhere else. Somewhere else there's like a spiral staircase. Whoa. That goes all the way down to basically there. <laughs> it opens up to the base of the mountain. So this is actually new to me. Okay, so we got um, okay, so we got uh, power coil access. <laughs> it's like mine locked up there for a little bit. Interesting. I wonder why they put a sign right there. It kind of seems like it would hinder access, or maybe they just wanted to cover up the sign or the machine blocks rather, kind of keep with a particular theme. I love those stone doors. Okay, so let's head over here. Let's see here. Okay, now we've transitioned over to D Flame. So there's at least three players, or rather three different characters. I guess they could all still be on the same account. 
And uh, yeah, when I first came here, I saw this bit over here. I think this is all a work in progress because there's really not much of anything to look at over there. And I was like, really? I walked all the way out here to see that. And I just <laughs> was momentarily discouraged. And so, yeah, now we're transitioning to some of this uh, black and gold, which, you know, doesn't get much better than black and gold. But very nice. <laughs> Look at all those tech components up there. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just look at that. That is sharp. It's a little bit, it's definitely louder than the other one, uh, but still very nice. And uh, there was a portal here apparently at one point. I think this is maybe was intended to be. Yeah, look at that. It almost looks like they should like chisel that into a fist because that just like especially from looking over at that other build It looks like a fist grabbing onto the sword like the mountain is angry at it or something Sounds like we got a meteor somewhere. Oh, there's one over there But uh, over here, there's a way to a shop at least according to that sign Kind of make our way up these stairs. Some nice gold work. Get another good look at the sword. Hopefully that cuddle trunk will leave us alone. Run away! <laughs> okay, so yeah, we got a nice little shop here. Some more decorative gold work. <laughs> a little, little diamond of corruption for good measure. And let's see here. Let's go up for now. <laughs> Got some nice uh, lanterns, kind of like trying to be windows almost. But uh, okay, so we ended up up top where the sword hilt is. A very nicer handle. Well, hilt and handle. So, I mean, just beautifully executed. Got some nice decorative chiseling. Corruption inlaid into the cross guard. Let's see here, I think, is that? Yeah, it's decorative sedimentary for the handle. And of course, we got that nice red gleam. Okay, so it's not actually being physically touched. So it is a sword through and through. I was wondering, like, this is it's like, okay, you got a hilt, his thing, you know, sitting on top of the mountain, and then below it just kind of like, you know, like it doesn't actually fully there built through sort of thing. Got nice little spikies pretending to be a rail there. Oh, <laughs> look at this <laughs> flaming skull. Very nice. It was perfectly with the theme. And uh, let's see. There's a lot more. There's like another crafting area around here somewhere. Let's see here. What is... Okay, this that goes to the shop, so perfect. Kind of afraid. Okay, this is locked... I know, it looks like I can see a little bit of gold through there, but really, not anything we can do about it. This is locked, too. It might be... This one, I would imagine, is maybe a service uh, space for the machines, because, yeah, that's got to be what it is. So, again, we got the machines inlaid into the floor, and, yeah, this is still D-Flame. And look at all of this beautiful gold. <laughs> and uh, actually got some... I guess that's probably cool blue uh, gleam, and it gives it a much... You know, well, cooler <laughs> lighting in here kind of changes up the the feel a little bit. But uh, very nice, love all of this gold, black, and uh, glowing corruption to just top it all off. So very nicely done. Let's see here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, wasn't there? Yeah, I love how this gold. It's like. Like, it's almost like sinking its teeth into these storage blocks right here. It's very nicely done. And uh, kind of maybe, well, I mean, you can still perfectly see what's there. Just kind of occludes it just ever so slightly of what's actually on the shelf there. So, <laughs> got a nice little block of corruption. Corruption inlaid into the, basically all the door frames it looks like. This beautiful hallway with all this gold inlaid work, and then a kind of an observation deck here again with the gleam signs. Very nice. Kind of pretend to keep the weather out, so to speak. 
Ooh, looks like... Yeah, it looks like there's portals and stuff over there. There's like a big gleam something or another. And... Okay, we got like a slingbow... Or just gym equipment showcase in general. Some locked doors. I wonder if those doors are purely... Well, no, there is something behind there. I wonder what that is. Almost looks like a mixer or kind of looks like maybe it's a machine and there seems to be some green something or another so kind of can't really tell hmm interesting let's see here 9b hammer 9b shovel multi-shot okay so these are kind of I guess forged Just showing off what he can forge, I guess, or or is he s storing them here? It looks like there's only one for each, but uh, interesting all the same. But uh, yeah, it's just like this black and gold. It's just sharp. Let's see. It looks like maybe we've, I think we've been here. Kind of yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? This <laughs> meteor? Meteor? <laughs> Meteor. I guess nobody's been out here for a while. Too bad I'm not actually looking for meteors. But that would be a really bad place for a meteor. Especially that one right there. Like, all the portals would be, like, what? Down below, probably? Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine. It's like, nowhere to stand. All the creatures would just fall off the ledges. And Yeah, I guess maybe, hopefully, they would die with the fall, but... And, uh, yeah, I might have to do a little bit of looking around because there's some cool stuff down below. And there's, like, a ramp that, uh, kind of switchbacks on itself over and over until it finally gets down to ground level and, uh, some pretty cool stuff down there. But, uh, I guess I'll just have to remind myself how to get there. Unless I just happen to get lucky here in a little bit. I'm wondering, surely that wasn't it. Might have been open. I was only here like yesterday. It might have been open then, so maybe it closed in the meantime. Oh, well, I think I'll just uh, kind of jump down here. <laughs> and hopefully... Yeah, it looks like it's just right over here. So let's go ahead and get a, put the torch away. Yeah. Nice. So we got this kind of underneath the mountain, got all this like mud down here. I guess theoretically this might be a halfway decent place to farm exotic earth yams or even waxy earth yams. But uh, yeah, like the hall of skulls right here. It's just, it's just something a little bit creepy. I mean, you've got like the toxic sludge or slide down below but then all of these rock formations and then more skulls and it's actually a bit more impressive coming from the other direction because I came down and then all of a sudden it was like here it was <laughs> but uh got some more sludge running down the walls kind of like maybe that's a, a drain or something Got some more over here. Oh, yeah, this thing. <laughs> like spiky rocks of skulls all over the place. And yeah, I think this is what we were seeing way, you know, from up above, basically. This must be the, the slime pit. So, just a little bit creepy. Got some more skulls on the side here. And then, yeah, this just kind of goes back and forth until you finally get up here. But this is a pretty good example of what I was talking about earlier. It's like we have the igneous for the floor, sedimentary for the walls, and then the ceiling turns into... Looks like it's actually a combination of, yeah, the sedimentary, metamorphic, sedimentary. So it's like... It, it's it's all the, the same colors, basically, or just one or two colors. But they still manage to make it interesting to look at. I mean, it's got, you know, depth and dimension to it rather than just like, oh, I just spammed the same block over and over, which probably that's actually probably what they did, but then, you know, probably came through with a changing chisel and 
and changed uh, key parts like you know I got the igneous for the floor and and uh, so yeah very nicely done I think that probably concludes ruin guard because I mean this is gonna take a while to get up here it is like it's a pretty tall mountain but uh, far like the locked areas, I don't think there's really much else to see. Okay, so I needed to come out, uh, yeah, out, outside blacksmith's area to get to uh, the, the service, whatever. Oh, cool. I'm not sure I really saw that uh, from the other side. But yeah, we got the, the bridge with the corruption inlaid into the support pillars and just... Very nicely done. Okay, well, I think that concludes Ruin Guard. Uh, it's a pretty impressive build, or, or at least I was impressed because I first started off seeing this little bit over here that uh, just doesn't seem to really do a whole lot. Yeah, just kind of like ends right here. So uh, this was my first impression, and then slowly but surely I noticed all of the stuff over here. It's like, oh, wow, okay, there actually is something to this place. and. Uh, but yeah, really nice build to come check out. Uh, gave me some interesting ideas that I might try to incorporate uh, into my build. You know, kind of twisted to more suit my purposes. But very nicely done. Quite impressed. But anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel and want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace.